Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're trying out the new and improved faux filter foundation from Huda Beauty. I have enjoyed using her original faux filter foundation for quite some time. Um, I use the shade Vanilla 120B but I do think it's a little bit too light for me. So I went into Sephora the other day and I was shade matched with my new shade, which is Panna Cotta 130G. And I am wearing both foundations right now. And I will show you guys that entire application a little bit later in the video, but this is an improvement upon her existing faux filter foundation. Huda listened to all of her fans all of the feedback that she received around the old foundation, things that fans wanted it to be that it just wasn't, and she said, you know what? I can make a better product. And she did in this new faux filter, luminous matte, full coverage, liquid foundation. This retails for $42 in store right now, at Sephora, it is also online, and it's on the Huda Beauty Shop as well. This new foundation comes in 39 different shades. So today I will be giving this new faux filter foundation a 10 hour wear test, and I am wearing it alongside its big sister, which is the original faux filter foundation. That way you can see how this new one is going to compare. Um, I obviously have some other makeup items on my face, but I did not go in with primer. I did not go in with powder. And I only went in with setting spray. And the setting spray that I chose to use was none other than the Huda Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting setting spray. I will say, if you've never tried this one, it's pretty good, but has a very, very strong scent. So buyer beware on that. But this is how the skin is looking. This is how it's going to stay. And of course, tomorrow I will be wear testing it again for another 10 hours, but I haven't decided yet what exactly I'm gonna do. I know I'm gonna wear it by itself with not the other foundation, but I don't know if I'm just gonna go in with it alone or if I'm just gonna pair it with the rest of my makeup that I normally would. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But today we're giving it a good 10 hours with the side-by-side -side comparison of the old to the new. So a bit of background about myself before I give you the deets on this new foundation. I am 38 years old. I have normal to oily skin, oily mainly in my T-zone, and my main concerns are my large visible pores and fine lines that are under my eye area. Makeup tends to break down on me uh, or go south, usually in this area first. That is where it will start to show signs of wear. And then even right here upon initial application, I'll know whether a foundation and concealer and powder are going to mix well with each other um, upon application. Like it will not take long to see some caking up if something is not working out the way it should. So. That is the background on me. Now let me give you the deets on this new one from Huda Beauty. The new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Full Coverage Liquid Foundation is a cult favorite fragrance-free foundation with full coverage up to 24 hours of wear and a luminous matte finish. This product is vegan and cruelty-free. This blendable full coverage formula is fragrance-free, transfer-proof, waterproof, fade-proof, and sweat and humidity-proof, and offers up to 24 hours of wear. Essentially, this foundation is your new BFF. No matter the weather, occasion, or situation, faux filter luminous matte won't let you down. This product retails for $40 on the Sephora website as well as in store and there are 39 shades to choose from. Um, I actually have two different colors here. I have vanilla in the original and then yesterday I was shade matched in store at Sephora 
And we decided that I was going to be panna cotta, which is probably what I should have gotten in this one because I do feel vanilla is just a tad bit too light for me. And this one was described as fair with yellow undertone. So um, that is what we're going to be going in with today. So on the right side, I'll be going in with the new one and on the left side with the golden oldie. So let's do, let's do the right side first, the new one. So the packaging, again identical so now I do want to tell you I already have concealer under my eye area I am trying a new one from the ordinary that's a very affordable concealer so that's definitely a video you're gonna to want to check out don't know which video will be up first um, but they will both be up like one right after the other so I'm gonna start um, if memory serves me correctly I do like applying this foundation with a brush so I'm just gonna clean off my heavenly Lux foundation brush here from it cosmetics and this is the number 41 brush And there is no scent. That was one of the main things, one of the main complaints that Huda's uh, fans had about this foundation. And they have a lot about a lot of her products. But I do know that in Indian culture, fragrance is something that they use on a daily basis if I'm not mistaken and so I'm assuming that is why there's a certain type of fragrance present in all of her products but correct me if I'm wrong on that but this one seems to be going on really really nice it's applying really well I am all for a luminous finish. You guys know those are terms I like to hear in the description of my foundation, but that it can also be matte while luminous, even better. Okay, so that is with not even a full pump because I still have some. Definitely great coverage. And this is a beautiful shade match for me. I think we did a really good job shade matching me. I was actually thinking I was going to be a color lighter than this and I end up being a color darker just because of the undertone. So that's very important. If you can, go get shade matched and that way you, you kind of know where you fall in the future for other purchases. But it was very, very helpful. Okay, so definitely, definitely a full coverage foundation. Not bad at all. I am gonna go and pat over everything once I get done with the left side, but now we're gonna go in with the original. You can kind of see the shade difference. So the original is very light. It's it's too light for me. And then you can see the new one over here. So the, the new one is Panna Cotta, which is this one. And then this one is Vanilla. I'm just gonna start patting over everything with my damp beauty blender. This is still the old one. I just picked up a little bit more. All right, so minus the shade difference, which I don't think it's too noticeable here on camera, but I'm sure once I go outdoors, it will be very noticeable. This is the old. And then this is the new. All right, so I have, I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more of the new, and then that way I can just press everything in, just the way I did with the old side. All right, so this is the foundation. It's definitely full coverage, guys. Um, you're definitely gonna be able to cover everything, and I don't even feel like I need to spot conceal. Like I said, the only place I have concealer on right now is under my eye area since I am trying a new one out. Now, as far as powder goes, I know that when I wear this Huda foundation, I tend to powder it as well. Um, I kind of just want to see what's going to happen with this one without the powder and then if I can give it another wear test tomorrow then I will do like the traditional routine but since I skipped out on primer today I think I'm gonna leave it just as is um, and I won't powder down this one either so we'll go powderless on both sides but I do need to powder one of my under eye areas and I think I will do it on the left side just so nothing interferes with the right side 
All right, guys, so this is the foundation. I'm very, very excited and happy to see that a brand owner took notice of what her customers were saying, all of the feedback, and funneled all of that to improve upon her existing foundation formula. I'm anxious to see how this is going to wear on my 38-year-old normal to oily skin. So we're gonna give this a good 10 hours today, and then we'll give it another, more than likely, another 10 hours tomorrow, and I will give you my final thoughts then. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, we've come to the five hour mark of me trying out this brand new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I have it going on over here on the right. And then I have the original Faux Filter over here on the left. What do you guys think? I don't see a lot of differences, to be honest. Um, I guess I do see... <sighs> Do I see a luminosity? I, I think my skin looks pretty much the same, which is good because I think the skin is looking great. I have no complaints. Um, I will say that this new formula is definitely a lighter weight formula. And because it has the hyaluronic acid, I would think it might cause me to be slightly more oily than the original. Um, but that might not be a bad thing because the hyaluronic acid is supposed to lock in the moisture that you have. So I wouldn't necessarily say that that is a deal breaker for me. And being that I normally, you know, blot or touch up throughout the day, that, that is no big deal to me. I definitely love the coverage. I mean, I didn't even need to spot conceal with this one. Um, so it is definitely a very pretty foundation. So far, I like the way my skin is looking. The bronzer and the blush, the highlighter, applied beautifully on top of both of the foundations. Um, to be honest, guys, just looking in the viewfinder here, looking in my mirror, I can't tell a difference from the old one to the new one. But I am going to give this a two-day wear test. So tomorrow... Maybe we will see something a little bit different, but I will be back in another five hours to give you guys the final look of the day, my final thoughts of the day, before we continue on to day two. All right, guys, 10 hours later, and we have come to the end of day one of me wear testing the new and perhaps improved Huda Beauty Faux Filter Now Luminous Matte Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. I have it going on here on the right. No primer, no powder. And then I have the original, the OG Faux Filter Foundation over here on the left. Also no powder and no primer. These foundations definitely keep their coverage. If you're looking for a foundation that's gonna last all day long, I've never had that issue with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Now, as far as which do I prefer, the old or the new? I kinda like the old. <laughs> I feel like um, it held up just a little bit better. And while I love a nice luminous finish, and I think this one does provide it in a very subtle way, I feel like because it provides that luminous finish and because it has a hyaluronic acid, I feel like for me and my skin type, this is going to work best when I powder it down. And I think I'm going to get more longevity from it. I noticed that right here, it's starting to look makeup-y. And then of course, around my mouth, this is always the first place that you know, gets that makeup look, makeup starts to break down on me. Um, but I also notice it in here and I really don't have any issues with this area when I do foundation wear tests. So the fact that I'm noticing a little bit of breakage in here leads me to believe that this new faux filter foundation with the luminous effect and the hyaluronic acid is going to require me just to powder down my entire face. As you can see, my nose definitely has some shine to it. I think it has a little bit more on this side versus the old side. And then my forehead, my forehead looks great. I rarely have issues with 
foundation coming apart on my forehead. Um, that usually pretty much stays intact. And the fact that I've had my little bangs here, it hasn't messed with that at all. And I think they both look nice, but I'm gonna be really curious tomorrow to try this on its own, full face. I am gonna use a primer. I'm actually gonna try and do a full face of Huda Beauty, and I might quickly demonstrate that on camera. Um, I just don't wanna make this video like a million years long. So if I can edit that, to uh, make it a very quick condensed application of all the Huda Beauty products, then I will likely do that. But uh, I am gonna wear this tomorrow with primer, with the Huda Beauty setting powder, with the uh, Boss Resting Boss Face setting spray, which that is what I did today. I just put that setting spray on my face and then as well as the rest of my makeup. So um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I have higher hopes for this tomorrow. Is it completely terrible? Absolutely not. Like. So far, it's good. Like I, it's, I'm just nitpicking at it because I know these are the things that you might want to know. These are the questions that some of you might have. Now, I quickly want to say that I definitely think the Luminous, the new one, feels a little bit more lightweight than the original. Um, and I definitely think it's easier to blend the new one versus the old one. So I will just say that, but I'm anxious to try it tomorrow. We'll see how it goes and I will check in with you all in the morning. All right, guys, so this is day two of the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter uh, Luminous Matte Foundation. I love that, Luminous Matte. Uh, today I'm gonna be pairing it with a full face of makeup, and I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is a little bit similar to the jelly primer that Huda recently released as well, although that one is more expensive. And this one, fairly new to e.l.f., you can get this one for around eight bucks on the e.l.f. website. Now, while that is setting, I also wanted to show you guys the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick. And I also have the shade Panna Cotta in this one, which is the shade I do have in this new um, liquid foundation. And this is what the stick looks like. I've already reviewed this on my channel, so I'll definitely have it linked up above in case you are curious about the wear test and how this one went. I found it to be fine. But I would like to do just a small section right here so that you can compare the coverage from one one cheek to the other because I think that's important because if you have the old foundation and maybe you bought it because it was on sale not too long ago don't see it anymore on the Sephora website so if you have the old one maybe you're just gonna use that one up and then later on transition to the new one or maybe not at all maybe you want the foundation stick instead so, so I definitely wanted to try that out just because this is the other foundation in her line so I'm gonna go in with the faux filter foundation stick and this is the area where I would typically build up coverage. So you can see that is the shade Panna Cotta. And then normally with a foundation stick, I go in with a makeup brush. And this is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe foundation brush. And I just kind of stipple it in there. And you'll see it does provide pretty good coverage. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there and I'm gonna go in with shade Panna Cotta as well in the new Faux Filter. So here's the new Faux Filter. And here is the Faux Filter foundation stick. I think the coverage looks pretty spot on. What do you think? Maybe just a little bit more with the liquid, which is typically what you will receive um, with a liquid foundation. Just wanted to share this with you really quick in case you did have some questions or you were wondering how the new foundation compared to the foundation stick. I wasn't gonna do a half face of each today because I really wanna try this new foundation full face with the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna finish applying it off camera just because you saw me apply it yesterday and you pretty much know how it's going to go on. And then I'll come back in about an hour and just let you know some of the products that I used to achieve today's look.
Hey guys, so this is what my face is looking like with the rest of the makeup products. I did go in with some of the Huda uh, Sugar Cookie Loose Setting Powder, and I also went in with Tantor. This is uh, in the shade Fair. Love, love, love this cream contour. Um, for concealer, I went in with the Huda Beauty, uh, the Overachiever Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer. A little bit goes a long way. And then I I set the bronzer down with this one from Kiko Milano and this is the Lost in Amalfi Baked Bronzer and this is in the shade 1. So wanted to quickly show you what I have going on. I'm actually going to be doing filming a Kiko Milano video later today but I do want to tell you that I will be wearing this Huda Beauty foundation for a good 12 if not 13 hours and the last part of the wear test for today I'm going to be wearing a mask. I'm going to be wearing a mask for a good three hours because your girl's going to go get a manicure done. So I will see you guys for a midday check-in and then I will see you guys at the end of the day to give you my full review, my final thoughts on the brand new, and where is she? Where did I put it? Here it is. The brand new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. Hey guys, this is the seven hour check-in with the new Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. And this is outdoor lighting. I have the top down on my convertible and we are gonna go get our nails done, get a mani and pedi. But I wanted to show you what it was looking like before I put a mask on for like the next three hours. And I'll definitely give you an update. Um, when I get home, that will be the final check-in of the day. But I will show you my mask and what it looks like because I have a clean mask, a glitter sparkly clean mask that I'll be wearing. And then we'll see if this transferred or not. Um, I think it looks nice. I'm not oily, but I will say it does look makeup -y, you know and it's especially like right in here i mean and it's a thick foundation so it's gonna look like that um but other than that the coverage is fantastic i think it looks nice but i don't know that i get that luminous effect from it what do you guys think i obviously did the rest of my makeup this is the new kiko milano ray of love collection you will see that video after this one goes up so stay tuned for that but i'll be back later guys at the end of the day to give you my final final thoughts and it's probably going to be a good 13 to 14 hour wear test today so stay tuned all right guys 13 and a half hours later on day two of me trying out the brand new and improved well we'll see if it's improved huda beauty faux filter luminous matte foundation this is how my skin looks the coverage no problem the coverage lasts all day long now, I was wearing my mask for about three and a half hours, and this is my mask right here. So, right in here is where it was touching my nose. So, there was some rub off there. And then, right here was like the lipstick and stuff. And then, down here was my chin. I did have it break apart on my chin. But then again, this area is always the part of my face. That foundation shows its signs of wear and this foundation was no different. This really does settle into like the sides of my nose. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of did that early on. Um, right in here, it's breaking up as well. And it's just like, you know, mainly in this area. Everywhere else looks pretty good. Forehead looks great. Yesterday, I was having a little bit of trouble with it in this area, and since I powdered down my face, no issues today whatsoever. So, I mean, it's performing the way the rest of my foundations perform. I don't really even feel like it has a luminous finish. I mean, I definitely get the matte, but um, I don't really feel like it's that luminous. And I definitely recommend if you are a skin type similar to mine, normal to oily or full on oily, I definitely re recommend powdering down your T-zone or the places on your face that you get the oiliest and actually just overall because I think it performs better when it's paired with a setting powder. I did go in with the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. 
that has always worked for me. I have no issues with that. That does have a very strong fragrance though. Um, I think it's a nice foundation. I think it's very similar to the original. However, I'm going to give it to the original. I think the original just held up a little bit better, at least on my skin, than this new one does. And it could be because this new one has, it's just formulated a little bit differently. And since it has those luminosity properties, maybe that's why I'm getting a little bit of breakage in here. Um, I don't know. And then on my nose, you can kind of see, like it kind of did rub off a little bit on my nose. My nose looks a little bit red when before it didn't. So um, is it a nice foundation? Absolutely. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this one is pretty good. Like you don't really need to spot conceal. So keep in mind guys that when you're working with a full coverage foundation, I mean, it's a thicker consistency because it needs to have more pigment in it. It needs to have, you know, whatever formula they use in order for it to cover more without you needing to go in with other products. Now, I feel like the original is just a little bit thicker than this new one, but I also feel like this just broke apart quicker, sooner than the original did. So um, keep in mind, guys, full coverage foundations, thicker coverage foundations, they're gonna look great until they're not. And so you're really gonna be able to tell that you have makeup on. They're gonna get like a makeup-y type of look. And I'm not saying that all of them do that, but a lot of the ones that I've experienced that are on like the thicker side and the full coverage side, they tend to do that at least on my skin. Now, what about the stick foundation? This one is pretty good, although I still don't think it provides the amount of coverage that these liquid ones do. It is pretty decent coverage, but you might have to build it up just a little bit or maybe go in with your favorite um, concealer to just spot conceal certain areas. Um, overall, guys, for being 13 and a half hours, for wearing a mask for three and a half hours, I think my skin looks pretty decent and I am definitely going to be wearing this again going forward. And I am going to be discarding the original just because that is old and I only kept it around to kind of just use as a shade comparison. But now that I have this new one, I'm just going to start using the new one and toss out the old one, even though that one is my favorite. So guys, let me know your thoughts on this foundation. Are you going to pick it up? Are you interested in it? Did you even know Huda was reformulating her faux filter liquid full coverage foundation? Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Again, I am wearing shade Panna Cotta and I was shade matched in store at Sephora. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!